Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. First, you'll probably hear my mother's TV. She's 94, it's blasting. There's nothing I can do about that. I have the door shut, we still hear it. Yesterday, I showed you how to make yarn rope using a handy dandy little loom that I made out of a plastic cover from a container. And you guys seem to really like that craft. I asked you in that video if you'd like to see me experiment with using t-shirt fabric to make the rope and many of you said yes. I don't think you really had to twist my arm too hard because I'm pretty sure I would have done it anyway. First, if you haven't watched yesterday's video, I'm going to link to it up above. Right here, right now, you'll see a little eye in the top right corner. You should, most do. Go watch that video first if you haven't yet and then come back to this one. If you've watched it, then you already know how to make a loom. I made another loom for this project. The differences are the hole is bigger because we're using fabric instead of yarn. And I also cut actual notches out instead of just making a little slit. That way I'll be able to pass the fabric through there a little bit easier. A couple of things I want to mention before you go. I'm going to be showing you during this project how I connect fabric stretch fabric, knit fabrics together without tying a knot. It keeps it flatter so it's not so bulky. I'm going to be cutting just seven strips. We don't need a loop at the end. Like the previous video, we're not making a bracelet. I wasn't a big fan of the loop thing anyway. So we're just going to be taking seven strands of fabric because we have an eight notch loom and we always have to leave one empty so we only need seven strands of fabric. It would be best to cut them up and down on a t-shirt so you don't have the stretch. I don't have any t-shirt scraps long enough, so I am cutting the stretch way for the sake of this video. But I definitely think up and down with the non-stretch way would be better, especially if you're trying to make like handles for a tote bag or something. It might still stretch a little bit. You might want to try some woven fabrics. I actually will. I would love to do it. I would even like to do it with strips of denim, see if I can make a denim rope. So cool. I'm going to cut seven strips. I suggest you cut them no narrower than a half an inch. You probably could even go up to an inch. I'm doing half inch strips. I'm going to cut seven and I want them to all be a different length because you don't want the knots, even though I'm not making knots, you don't want that all coming to the top of the loom at the same time because it makes it bulky. So I'm going to be cutting my strips like starting at 14 inches and then 12, 10, 8, 6, however many inches I need. I might have to start at 16, but I want all seven strips to be about two inches apart. And I'll show you during the making of the rope how I attach the next piece to it. Okay, let's just get started. I should clarify, if you're making something that's not going to be long, like let's say you're just going to make a bracelet out of the fabric rope, you can go ahead and cut your seven strips the same length. I just assume that many people would want to make something longer. And I have found, especially with the fabric, boy, it tangles up quick. And using this method, you could make a rope a mile long if you want. You just never have to stop, which is pretty cool. But again, if you're doing something that's not long and you don't mind untangling strands of fabric as you go, then you can just cut them all the same length right at the get-go and not worry about attaching things. The other thing I want to mention before I forget, the only time you need to have various lengths is at the very beginning. I ended up cutting mine 6 inches, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. So I just put them two inches apart, but all the remaining strips are going to be the same length because that's going to keep the knots from ever being in the same place. So the only time you have to cut various lengths is at the very beginning. Let's get started. I'm ready to rumble. You've got to be kidding me. I just recorded so much of this. <laughs> the camera wasn't on. I hope I can remember where I left off. As a recap, I cut seven strands of t-shirt strips half an inch wide. I started at six inches and I worked my way down to 18 inches. That's the only time you have to cut them at staggered lengths. All the strips that I attach now will be 14 inches. I just decided on 14. It's manageable. What I did is I took the top of the seven strands and I just made a knot, just like he so. 
And then I was explaining to you that instead of passing the knot through that hole, because I didn't want that hole to be super big, I'm just going through the back and passing the yarn through the hole. Just make sure you have all seven strands coming through. This little guy right here. Nope, this little guy has to go through also. Or you can just try shoving the knot through that hole. It's up to you. So now we're just going to randomly put, doesn't matter what length they are or anything like that, just put a strand in each slot. And you're going to have one slot left. You're going to hold this and count. One, two, three. Take it and put it down here. And we turn. One, two, three. Put it down here. One, two, three. Put it down here. Make sure you keep your ends untangled and then always give a little tug, like every two or three times. One, two, three. There. One, two, three. There. Now I'm going to work on this a little bit off camera and then I'm going to show you very soon how I'm going to attach a piece to this short one right here. You don't have to wait till it's this short, but you can see I have a short one here that is soon needing fabric. So here's what I do. I take my little seam ripper and you don't want to go all the way up to the edge. So maybe about a half inch down or three quarters of an inch. I'm just going to stick my seam ripper in there and make a little slit, just very little. Well, a little bit more, like that. Now I'm going to take the strand that I'm attaching. Now remember, all the strands that you are attaching from this point are going to be the same length. That's going to keep the knots from ever being at the top at the same time. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to stick my seam ripper in there and make a little slit. Now you take this end that has the slit and you take this end that has the slit and you pass this one into the hole of the other. Pull it through. Now take the end of that long piece and pass it through its own slit. And you pull that through all the way down. And then you just tug a little bit and you're going to have a connection that is much flatter than a knot and it works out really well in projects like this. So now I can just continue. One, two, three, down. One, two, three, down. Now you can see this one will be coming up soon. So do I have my 14 inch strip already cut? Yes, I do. I don't have to wait. Let's do it right now. We'll do it again together. I'm going to just make a little slit right there doesn't take much like that. Do the same on another piece. Take this and put it inside this one. And then pass this end into here. There you go. If this were to stick out of the final project, you can always just trim it. But sometimes it's cute to see those sticking out. And then you just keep going and you just keep track of what needs to be, you know, a, have a piece attached to it and you just go on your merry way. And you just keep doing that. So you can see we're starting to get a little bit of rope but I actually did one with some other colors a little while ago and this is what we have. Now you can see like there's a knot there where I connected and there's one there where I connected. You can understand why we wouldn't want those to all be all at once because it would just look a little weird. I really like this. Again, mine is on the stretch so it's stretchy. I would like to try it not doing it that way, but this still makes a cute little bracelet if somebody wants, or a choker. You can do something in your hair with it. Whatever. Just all kinds of uses for this stuff. So, I'd like to make a rug. And I bet you it would be very sturdy with t-shirt fabric like that. That would be so cool. Let's see how you could just spin that around and stitch it together? And you have a rug. 
you know, there were times that I plan a video and it just feels like it's going to be a breeze. Oh, I'll be able to knock this one out in five minutes. I've had so much trouble with this video. <laughs> Forgetting to turn the camera on, just screwing up. The TV was bothering me. It's off now. I can hear silence. So I hope this wasn't too jumbled up. I am going to be playing with this more. I'm going to be trying a loom with 32 slots in it. And you work two strands at a time. It looks quite interesting. 16 strands of fiber. 32 slots. We'll do that one soon. All right. I hope that you liked this. I think it's cool. I think it's a cool little rope. And I'll be back with more soon. Bye. I plan on doing a whole lot more of these kind of videos of weaving fabric together and yarn or cord or all kinds of things. I think I'm going to have a new addiction. So if you like this stuff, stick around. Thanks.